Hey folks, this is one of my very favorite projects and I'm excited to show you guys how I did it. It just takes one of these guys right here, a stainless Mora knife blank, a chunk of brass, got a chunk of leather. This is a piece of cherry I had lying around the shop as well. And then when you artistically craft it into something, you get this. Very sharp. Well, step one, let's go to the table saw. The sandal's way too long like this, but I'm just gonna cut it out like that. There you have it. Step two. So this is what I'm gonna use for the top part of this handle. First thing to do is cut it out. Oops. <laughs> And you know what, before I actually cut this all the way through, I'm gonna use it just like this to drill the holes that I need to drill. And then I'm gonna take my smallest little 16th inch bit. This isn't a necessary step, but it's nice to just punch a little hole for your starting point. Okay, that's a pretty good starting spot. I need it to be a little bit wider than that, but I think this is gonna be okay. And this is a good way to break a drill bit. Oh, it's painful. Time to go one size up pretty close. I'm gonna give it a go. I just don't want it to be too big and then you see gaps. So th that's why this takes the longest is because you just want to get a perfect fit around the, the knife blade. Okay, we're through. Like I said, this is a good way to break drill bits. So if you don't want to break bait, blah, blah, blah. If you don't want to break drill bits, maybe figure out a different way to do this one. So I just got to take one of these bad boys and start filing. Two hours later. No, it doesn't take that long. But we're going to be here a while. Where's that knife blank? Almost. Almost. Well, I decided to put a fan in here. That's the new fan. Hopefully, it's gonna allow my GoPro to cool off a little bit. Because it keeps shutting off. The GoPro just keeps shutting off. But it is one of the hottest days of the year here in Washington. I don't know if you can see. This fan is actually, it's really good for me as well. I probably won't be sweating as much on the camera. So. Yeah, you want that nice and straight because that's going to be visible. That's going to be the part that you'll see. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I'm almost there. Okay, now you can just finish cutting this little guy off. 
There's the saw blade. Okay, so that's our little, I don't know what you'd call it. This is the top. And this is the bottom. 80 grit for better adhesion on that bottom side. Actually, so it'll be this, this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna round this top off just a little bit, sand it up a little bit, polish it up a little bit, and I'm gonna call it good from there. These are my vice grips. <sighs> okay, whoo, I got it. Check, check, check. Can you hear me now? Check. Three hundred and twenty. Four hundred. Eight hundred. So now I'm going to start with a thousand, actually. Okay. To two thousand now. And last but not least, 4,000. <laughs> Dang, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I think this is uh, no good. I've had it for a little too long. <sighs> Which is really just a huge bummer. Okay, moving on to this epoxy. It's, it's a DevCon home epoxy. It's a one to one ratio. Okay.
Now I let it sit. I'm not entirely sure how long. The instructions are not very good. <coughs> Here we have the knife blade all epoxied up and it's all dry and rock hard. And I bought a new machine. How about this thing? I've been wanting to get some kind of a oscillating belt sander for a while now. This is kind of the first I've used it on a project. Kind of excited to see how well it works. So the most important thing you got to do with this step is wrap up your blade with tape or cardboard or wood or something to uh, protect it. Because if you touch it, it's going to damage the blade, uh, potentially ruin it. cut off this bit. Seemed a little long. See, I touched the, touched the tape. I think it's gonna be okay, but I wanna make sure you don't go through the tape. I'm gonna go right to 200. Maybe we should go to 120. This is 180, this is actually back a step, but it's nice and squishy. And so it's gonna fit the contours of the handle without sanding too much. Three sixty. A thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. And finally, but not least, 4,000 grit. Got some sticky residue have to clean off. There you have it. And the blade's looking good. It doesn't look like I touched it. I'm gonna use a penetrating oil rather than a, something that sits on top of the wood. I'm gonna get something that sits in it. Really is a rather small handle now at this point, but I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. I'm gonna use a simple, just Danish oil one step. So I'm just going to build a really simple little sleeve out of this scrap, pieces of leather.
Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Where's my thimble? Ah, thimble. This is gonna be a very simple sheath. All it is is a little sleeve to put the blade in. figure out where that went. What the heck? Where'd it go? Oh, I threw it away. Okay, so I cut this little guy. Put it under the camera right here. It's just a simple little addition. I didn't, I didn't do a belt loop or anything with this, with this sheath. And so I thought it would be a good idea to just put a little, little leather hook, basically, so that it can go in your clothing and kind of hook. Like, I don't know if, see if this is going to show up very well, but kind of like this. You know, you can do that. That. Anyways. Furnish it. Paint on just a little bit more onto this edge. This is going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to burnish this edge of this new piece that I made. And then I'm going to stitch it on. But anyways, a burnishing agent really helps a lot. Not necessary, you can just use spit or water, but I recommend this stuff. I'm gonna put this right there, like that. Let's try it with blue. So I'm leaving the knife in when I'm doing this so that it, kind of shapes to the, the handle. I don't want it to be too tight uh, after doing this.
Just going to melt those ends now and then move on to the other side. And there you have it. Nice little knife. Yeah, it really turned out pretty good. Oh, so you see DH right there. I forgot to put this in the video, but I just stamped it with these leather stamp. And you can put in different letters and stick them on this little punch. Take a hammer, give it a whack and then you can put custom letters on things. Okay, well that's a wrap, that's it. Subscribe to my channel to watch future videos that I come out with. This is the end. Until next time, goodbye.